So this vlog is going to be a little bit backwards because um, I didn't do much today as much as I wanted to. Um, I didn't have my acupuncture appointment because my headache was actually pretty bad and I knew I was going to be uncomfortable trying to sit, lie still because um, <clears throat> I get really fidgety when I have a headache. Um, and it's just kind of like annoying, throbbing headache doesn't go away anyway. So um, I had my lunch and then met up with Mike, which you'll see later. Um, but I'm starting with this, um, which is kind of important to me and it's something I wanted to address in makeup videos but because I haven't made any makeup videos for a little while I want to talk about it now um, I don't know if you guys have heard of my friend Ricky Pointer um, and I really hope I'm pronouncing her name properly because I, <laughs> I don't but anyway I have been she uh, used to do makeup videos and she still does some makeup videos but she doesn't consider herself a, a makeup guru she never liked that term anyway um, and I subscribed to her I've been subscribed to her for about two years now and um, she just hit 10,000 subscribers so congrats Ricky but she has shifted the focus of her channel recently to deaf awareness because she is deaf um, well she's hard of hearing she's not profoundly deaf anyway I'll link all of her videos down below she's got a, um, videos talking about the differences between you know deaf hard of hearing profoundly deaf etc um, and she's been doing a lot of deaf awareness stuff um, and like you know shit that you shouldn't say to, to hard of hearing or deaf people um, stuff like that and um, and she has been running this mission this, I can't even call it a campaign it's a mission to get people to close caption their videos and it's something that I do plan to do it's just that um, when I had made the decision to start doing it I just haven't made any videos since um, and I'm not gonna uh, close caption my vlogs necessarily um, but I will close caption. I will be close captioning my tutorials from now on and I'm going to try to go back and put some close captions on some of my other ones, especially my more popular ones. And there's a couple of ways to do it and I'll stick the links down below. Um, the way that you can close caption your videos. I'm trying to teach myself how to do it now so that when I come to close captioning my tutorials, um, it'll be easier for me. Now, why is this important? And I didn't, it's not that I never thought it was important. It's just something that never occurred to me. Um, until I started watching videos and I'm sometimes I'm in an area where I don't want sound. Um, I don't have headphones or whatever and, or I just can't understand what's being said. And I can hear, I can hear really, really well. I have very good hearing. Um, it's probably, um, my best sense, um, in terms of, I mean, my, my eyes are horrible. So, um, but it is important because, um, I think, you know, there are more people who have hearing issues, auditory problems, not just being deaf, but, you know, people have auditory processing problems and illnesses that stop them from being able to hear. And why should they not be able to enjoy videos the same as us? Um, and it can also, closed captioning is also good for people who are just now learning English um, or people who, you know, again, are in a, just people who are in a, a noisy place and they want to be able to hear what's being said or see what's being said. Uh, via closed captions and I know I have as a hearing person perfectly good hearing I have turned on closed captions before when I couldn't understand a word and it didn't make sense And so I think it is important and I don't think it's that hard It takes an extra hour maybe out of your life to close caption your video and then you're opening it up to a much wider audience Hey, if you don't think you should do it for hard of hearing people to make it easier for them Think about it that you're getting more views for your videos if that's what your major concern is. Hey cool go for it but do it. I think I think that it's something that that should be done. Um, and I have I have the pleasure of being friends with Ricky um, on Facebook. And and um, like I said, I've been subscribed to her for two years now. And um, we've talked and we've talked about her deafness and and how hard it is for her when people put music on their videos and you know do what you want with your videos hey by all means go ahead and put on music on your videos and and you know make your videos sound the way you want to but just throw a closed caption on there so that people who have a hard time understanding you can use the, the closed captions i don't think it's that big of a deal and um i think that pretty much everyone should do it um you know don't cut people off from watching your videos when it's something as simple as a closed caption. So that's all I wanted to say. And um, this is me ending my vlog, but this is going to be the beginning of my video. It's confusing because I'm just a crazy person. And yeah, but I'm putting all of Ricky's links down below. So have a look at them. Watch her videos. Um, she's had, she was featured on Huffington Post, which was brilliant um, for her her deaf awareness video. And um, she's she's 
working hard at this thing because it's it's important to her as somebody who lived death, um, who has lived death and lives death for for you know, and this is how she communicates and these are the problems that she faces and therefore I'm sure other deaf people face too. So um, yeah, let's do that. Post caption videos if you make videos. It's it's a good thing to do. Hello everyone. Okay, uh, it's afternoon. I haven't done much for the morning because I woke up with a really nasty headache. So I have been trying to, you know, mm, deal. Um, <laughs> and it's arrested. And then and now I'm just gonna meet my dad, and I'm gonna go get uh, some lunch. And then I have my acupuncture appointment. And um, but I'm gonna see if a friend of mine um, wants to meet up because I haven't seen him for a while. So, yeah, we'll see. I'm kind of wearing the same deal that I did yesterday um, because now it's healing really nicely. It's looking really good. The swelling has gone away and most of the redness has gone away. Um, and, but it's just, it's sore to the touch. Like I, I put on my Andy ointment, but it's quite sore. Um, so when stuff rests on it, then it hurts. Um, but other than that, it's doing really, really well. And um, the one on my wrist is almost completely healed. So funny, this one hurt more but it's healing faster. So my dad's outside, I'm gonna run. So I just had, I just, I'm, I'm vlogging Mike, by the way, this is Mike. Say hi, Mike. Hi. That's my Mike, that's my boyfriend, Mike. My, 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 yeah, boyfriend, I'll call him my boyfriend, whatever. Um, been friends for a long time. So we're going home now and they're doing this. They're fogging. Do you see that fog? Right, that's supposed to kill mosquitoes. Mind you, the mosquito that bit me and made me sick, bit me just after they had fog. This stuff, it's bloody toxic. It smells horrible. We have the windows up, but we're still gonna smell it when we put the windows down, I'm sure. It is so disgusting. It causes, like, people who have asthma get asthma attacks. It gives me a nasty headache. And it doesn't do a thing. Like, it, it's supposed to kill adult mosquitoes. But it's been proven that it's bad for you. And I don't understand why they're still doing it. Anyhow, rant done. I'm going home. This is the beach. This is the beach that's like right by my house. Like I can walk to it in two minutes. And there's the sunset. Is it gonna come out? There we go. Pretty sunset through Mike's window, which is horrible. Yeah. Let's let's not talk about Mike's window. That's propped up with keys here. Uh, let's talk about the sunset. <laughs> For Mike.